Round six, and it was Oschersleben in Germany. The first of the final two B24 hour races, and the Germans are well known for putting on a spectacular show. The fans could get right up close and watch the teams and riders prepare for the race and experience some of the glamour that is so much a part of world motorcycle endurance. And once again, it was the factory supported Castle Suzuki heading the field in qualifying, but not so far away as to be uncatchable. Yamaha Austria, Bollinger Kawasaki and Yamaha Phase 1 were all in touch, along with the German wildcards Beck Racing Yamaha. And with the crowded stands looking on, the flag dropped at 3 in the afternoon and the 2006 24 hours of Oschersleben was underway, with all the top teams getting good starts, though it's pole sitter Vassal Philippe on the Castrol Suzuki that hit the first corner in the lead. All the teams are well aware of Philippe's race strategy of going for an early break and both Yamaha Austria and Bollinger Kawasaki were hoping to stay on the Castle Suzuki's heels from the start. Phase 1 in 4th were on a fresh bike for this race with the riders needing to get used to the new machine and Warwick Nolan was making sure the bike was OK for the first few laps but the Italian X1 Yamaha will be the first to retire after only 10 laps. Paolo said we had to retire because our engine broke after 10 laps. We did good work in qualifying, the bike was okay for all of the sessions, and in the race we were doing the same times as fifth or sixth place. Only 10 laps in a 24 hour race, but that's racing. One hundred and seventy two laps down and Castle Suzuki have built up a three lap advantage over everybody. Yamaha Austria have dropped back with grip problems and phase one had taken second place in a tight fight with the Bolliger Kawasaki. But the Austrians were now closing fast and have split the phase one Bolliger battle, moving third after boasting the fastest lap of the race. Matthew Legrieve had handed over to Keiichi Kitagawa and the Castle Suzuki's lead was now four minutes and thirty seconds, with Legrieve explaining to the team that even their fabled Dunlops were searching for grip in the hot German weather. Nine hours into the race, 337 laps done, and Castrol Suzuki have built up an eight-minute, five-lap lead over Yamaha Austria now in second, with Phase 1 now third, and Bolliger fourth in front of Diablo 666 for the French Acropolis Zone Rouge number 99 Yamaha, now joining the party in sixth. And talking of parties, Oschersleben had some of the wildest during the night of the 24-hour race. The party tents are packed, the bands are hot, the beer is cold, and if you miss the bands on stage, there'll always be somebody else willing and eager to put on a show. 5.30 in the morning and a minor incident calls out the safety cars. The top two were unchanged, but Bolliger and Phase 1 have been battling all night long over third place. Well, it, it's been very exciting, that's for certain. Bolliger and ourselves have been fighting over third place for 16 hours now, with no more than two minutes separating us at any one time. So we're entering the last quarter of the race now, five and a half hours to go, and uh, there's eight seconds separating us at the moment and our plan is to try and match Bollinger's fuel stops so we're both after five stops and leave it to the riders on the track and if the battles on the track weren't enough the weather decided to take a turn for the worse now it starts to rain on the path behind of the track it's raining since 10 laps a little bit and then it stops again so I slow down a little bit and try not to fall off the bike. But the heavens never really opened and the fast teams just kept going, putting off the decision over tyres for as late as possible. And when they did come in, in many cases, it was up to the riders to make that decision. And then there will be a mad scramble to get the right tyres fitted. The Castle Suzuki team had led a charmed life. They'd lost their chain at the final corner and coasted into the pit lane with three hours to go, not having to push the bike at all. But then there was another problem when the team discovered a leaking fuel tank. The Suzuki was quickly wheeled into the pit and the tank changed. So quickly that the entire pit stop lasted only two minutes and two seconds. But that stop didn't affect Castro Suzuki's lead. They had a total of 21 pit stops to Yamaha Austria's 24 and could cruise to the finish of the race with four laps in hand over their rivals. And as they crossed the finish line to win the 24 hours of Oschersleben, they would finish over six minutes ahead, completing 891 laps. 
Yamaha Austria was second, five laps ahead of Phase 1 Yamaha in third, with a three lap gap back to Bollinger Kawasaki in fourth. The French Acropolis' own Rouge number 99 Yamaha had snatched her best result of the season in fifth, demoting Diablo 666 Kawasaki to sixth place, with RMT 21 Honda seventh ahead of the Fagajo El Suzuki. Once again, Castro Suzuki had beaten the field, but once again, Yamaha Austria had taken second place, and they were still a threat with one round to go.